Hey everyone, welcome back to Wixfix. I hope you're having a fantastic day. My name is Ryan and in today's video, I'm gonna show you the brand new feature, mouse effects inside of Wix Studio. Now, when they first announced Wix Studio, I was so excited when I saw that they added scrolling effects. And the last effect that I was really hoping that they would add to Wix Studio was mouse effects. And about eight months later, they officially released it. So I'm so excited that this effect is finally here and I get to show you how it works. Let's go ahead and get started. So here I am inside of a Wix Studio template and I wanna come down to the second section because it has five floating images. I do think that floating images just like these right here are probably gonna be the best way to apply these mouse effects. So to kind of show you what these mouse effects are, I'm gonna go through each one of them um, really quickly, but I'm not gonna go into too much detail on every single one of them and all of their settings. I will let you kind of play around with them yourself and kind of figure them out a little bit more. But I'm gonna grab this image right here, head on over to the inspector panel, go to effects, and we're gonna see this new option down here called mouse effects. So once I press add, you'll notice that we have nine different options. The first thing that we're gonna try is tilt 3D. So if I go ahead and press preview on this, when I am moving my mouse around the website, you're gonna notice that this image is kind of moving around and kind of following wherever my mouse goes. I will say that the 3D effect might be a little bit too strong. So just like all of the other effects that we have here in the animation and effects tab, if we open this up and go to adjust at the very bottom, we can easily just kind of adjust the settings for this. So I think 20, is gonna be a good option for this one. So once again, if I preview it, you're gonna notice that the 3D effect is a little bit more subtle. And this is exactly what I like personally, especially when this effect is maybe applied to all five images. If they were all so in your face, then it would be very, very distracting. Whereas if we just applied it very subtly to all five images, then it just becomes like a really cool effect. But let's go ahead and move on to the next one, which is gonna be track. Again, I would probably adjust these to not be so distracting, but to give you a very obvious idea of what these effects are doing, you know, I'm gonna leave it at its default settings for now. So as you can see, I'm moving this around and it's moving the image quite a bit. Again, I would probably adjust the distance in which this is changing in the settings. Or alternatively, I might make each of these images move a slightly different distance to give the website a little bit more depth. But let's go ahead and move on to the next effect. We're gonna try blob. Now, this one kind of just skews the images a little bit when you move. You can see it gets a little bit taller when I move down. It gets a little longer when I move left or right. So that's all this really does. I can see this one not being a super popular one, but I can definitely see it being used on some websites that are going for like a specific style. I do think that one could work for those. Let's go ahead and move on to obscure. Now this one is a little bit different. It's kind of like the first two, but with blur. So as you can see, it's kind of moving the image. It's also doing 3D and the farther away I get from it, the more blurry the image gets. So this one I can see being used quite a bit. Next is track 3D. Now all this one is, is tilt 3D and track together. So I'm gonna go ahead and preview it and you'll kind of see it moves the images and it tilts in 3D a little bit. The same thing as the first two, but kind of together. Now let's switch over to Airy. Now this one's a little bit more whimsical, you know, as I move, it's just kind of like, kind of tilting it, but not like in 3D, just kind of rotating the image and kind of just adding like a nice little movement to it. Again, it's just kind of a little bit more whimsical. I do like it, but I don't really see too many people using this one unless it's the style they're going for. Resize is just as it sounds. Um, the closer I get, it becomes its full size. And then if I get farther away, it, get, it shrinks down. Now you can in the settings actually switch this from shrink to scale or expand, my bad. Um, so it can actually get bigger instead of smaller. And I also wanna mention that a lot of these effects actually have um, the follow mouse or invert mouse. I do think that this one would probably be more obvious with the Tilt 3D. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, show you this one. So right now, you know, the image is always gonna be kind of facing my mouse. So right now my mouse is down here and the image is kind of like looking at my mouse in a way. However, if I go into the settings, 
and switch the direction from follow mouse to invert mouse. Now you can see that it's kind of looking away from my mouse right here. So I believe all of the mouse effects in this little collection here have that option to invert or follow. So again, that's just another option for you to be able to customize and create whatever interaction you're trying to create. But let's go ahead and move on to the last two, which is skew 3D. Um, kind of how it sounds, it's just kind of gonna skew the image and do it in 3D. Um, I do think I do think that this one was set to invert, so I'll go ahead and switch it back to follow and we'll see how it looks. You know, if you're going for this style, it would be kind of cool, but I don't personally think I would use it too much. And the last one is swivel. Um, as I move my mouse up and down the page, you're kind of seeing it kind of like swivel back and forth. One cool thing about this effect is you can actually change the pivot axis. So it can move from the top left, bottom or right, or you can even do the horizontal or vertical centers of it. So that's kind of cool. Again, you could also switch the direction, angle, velocity, and perspective. These are kind of the three things that are in a lot of these different effects. But if I had to be honest, I, I really like all of these effects, but I do think there are mainly only four that I see myself using prominently in the future. And that's Tilt 3D, Track, Track 3D and Obscure. And of course, for all of these, the default settings are a little too extreme. I would probably go into all of these and potentially adjust these to be a little bit more subtle. For example, the distance here, I probably would not do 250. I would probably do like 40. But again, if I do this effect to all of these images, it might be kind of cool to set these distances to all be slightly different to give this website a little bit more depth. I just added this effect to all five images and I'm gonna go ahead and preview it. And you can kind of see when I'm moving things around, some images are moving faster than other ones are. And it kind of just gives it more depth and feels like there's more dimensions to a 2D website. The last thing I'm gonna say here before I send you off to go and play with these, you know, when we add one animation, like a mouse effect to an image like this, if you also wanted to have it come in through an entrance animation, you can't. So if you wanted to do that, what you need to do is right click on the image, place it in the container. And now that we have the container selected, we can then add a mouse interaction. Like let's say we did a float, something like that. And we can go ahead and do that to all five of these images here. We'll place it in a container and add the float animation right click, place it in a container and add a floating animation. Then we'll scroll up to the very top and we can go ahead and press preview. So let's go ahead and scroll down. All of these images will animate in and then they'll also have the really cool mouse effect as well. But that's basically gonna wrap it up for today's video. If you all did enjoy, please consider giving this video a like and subscribing to the channel for more Wix and Wix Studio content coming out really soon. Thank you all again and I will see you on the next one.